I'm uh, just a solo mission. Uh, just going for a bit of an explore. Um, got a lure out the back, the old uh, psychedelic laser pro. I don't know what it is, multicolored laser pro. Uh, it's only a two and a half meter diver. He's having an issue swimming at the moment. Just thought I'd come up to the north of where we're camping. Uh, it's not far, a couple of k's north. Uh, it's blowing offshore. It might be right. There's a butterfly. <laughs> Didn't want to swim yesterday. Doesn't want to swim today. I don't know what this wind's going to do, so I won't go uh, venture too far out. Um, yeah, just uh, just have a look around here. If it gets too windy, I'll just uh, pop back over to my old faithful um, little squid spot and just go for a drift over there. But it's, uh, it's, about, it's about 7.30, so yeah, I'll see how it goes. If it gets too windy, I'll um, call it. Uh, it's back to squidding. <laughs> It's um, woo. it's blowing uh, easily pretty hard, which the further I go out, the worse it gets. So uh, I'll head back into shore and uh, we'll try and get some squid. Uh, I've just come back over to uh, we're just camping straight over there. I uh, just threw the squid jigs over and see what happens. Never know. I'll uh, do one more drift and, uh, and that's it. That's it. Going in. Nothing. Uh, Savo. I'm doing a pork roast. Got a box of um, lunch jar. A bit of low and slow wood. I found recently um, it's oh, I like it better than heat beads. Uh, heat beads are good, but um, but you get a bit of flavour out of the lump jar. Away she goes. And then I can um, just lower it down a few pegs and get it closer to the um, lunch shaft, but just for now, I'll just get it rotating a bit on there and that wood will die down in a minute. Yeah, the old roast is coming along pretty good. Uh, probably an hour and a half or so, maybe two hours. Spinning around. Oh yeah, surprisingly, even with all the wind, um, I've got it down to its uh, lowest setting here. And yeah, it's going pretty good. Uh, slowly getting there. Um, Kel just chucked a couple of wrapped potatoes in there with a bit of um, seasoning and oil. Yeah, it's pretty much ready. Um, we baked some spuds for an hour or so. Uh, internal temp's about 75 or so. There, yeah, I cheat with the um, crackle every now and then, with bits that aren't um, puffed up. I just hit it with a butane torch, works a treat. Because it's just Cal and I, so um, we'll have heaps of crackle each. <laughs> pretty much just gonna have crackle, uh, potato, and salad and we'll have pork for sandwiches tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, it's crackle down, crackle up. A little bit burnt, gonna be right. Where's my potatoes? Oh, I was gonna leave them in there till the end. Okay.
crackle. Titus. See how these guys. Oh, they look good. Oh. Good? Yeah, you done well. Half the crackle for Jed and half the kill. <laughs> and here you go. Thank you. you. Got it? Yep. Cool. I woke up to a um, little bit of a glass off, so uh, we're just putting the gear in the boat. Kel's making the cuppers, and um, yeah, we're just going to pop out before breakfast and. Uh, yeah, possibly just head out near the reef again, go for a little like um, drift fish, and then might come back in and do our usual routine of trying to get a couple of squid. the squid jigs on for a bit of a jig not much of a drift going on just have a little putt around here for half an hour throw some jigs around on a bit of a weed bank thing going on just before the um, back of the reef which is um, over there pretty good morning either way Got a squid. Oh, I thought I was packing up. Literally. He came right to the surface, eh? Yeah, mine was right here, <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's a well good done. one. Ning Lu Squido. And we're about to pack up. Uh, well, we're calling it. Uh, we called it before, <laughs> and um, literally, I was one in the squid jig, and a fucking squid came through and nailed it. And um, so, yeah, not too bad of a pack up prize, but yeah, we're going now. Uh, we're going to go back for some brekkie, uh, yeah, assess the rest of the day, and probably, yeah, maybe head back out for a bit of a fish or something. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. Good choke. Boy.
yes, this morning, um, it's our last day at uh, Ningaloo Station. Uh, the weather's been, eh, how you going? It's, um, it's, it was calm this morning and it probably looks calm, but uh, the wind's picking up and, and yeah, so once again, um, it starts off calm in the morning and then uh, picks up in the morning and by the afternoon it's blowing its head off and then by night time it sort of drops off again. But yeah, the water is really dirty this morning. Uh, I think the swell's pretty big out the back there and it's um, churned everything up a little bit. But yeah, I sort of uh, might as well just go for a little squid, uh, a little drift. Tomorrow it's supposed to get 20 to 40 mil of rain here. So uh, we we're thinking about planning to stay an extra night, but um, weather pending. But no, nah, not with that weather. So we're going to pack it up and head off tomorrow as scheduled. Uh, yeah, and the other thing is, the um, last couple of days has been fairly overcast and we get little bits and pieces of sunlight, but. Um, Having a total, having a totally solar dependent setup has um, been proved challenging. We've had to um, pretty much use only the basic of lighting uh, to keep the fridge running and stuff like that. Even the car, I mean the car's not too bad. I mean we've been for some little drives and um, uh, just fill up water and whatnot to enter the toilet and it charges obviously while you're driving around. But, uh, but yeah, the solar in the van, um, not so good. Uh, so you just got to keep an eye on it for today and um, just trying to nut out uh, solutions to that. So we'll go from there. Tiger squid. Good times. Karate chop him on the head, right about there. Just bang on the head, goes white all over. Another uh, tigery, add to the uh, esky.
time of the um, stay when I have to start uh, packing everything away. Yeah, so I'll start disassembling the boat and get it all out of the water and start putting some stuff away. Have pretty much most of the stuff ready to pack away in the morning. Yeah, get out of here before this rain hits. Oh, we got a little bit of rain this morning, just a little bit of um, pitter patter, but um, it stayed away most of the day, which is good. Yeah, I'll pack this boat up and um, get out of the water. Yeah, the sun's not even up yet this morning and we leave uh, Ningaloo. Uh, it was a terrible night last night. Um, the wind has just been pounding, pounding all night. I've had to, as the wind got worse and worse, I had to pack everything up, pack the julker up. That's literally where I'm gonna have a shit this morning. Straight out the front. Um, pack the awning up, everything. It was just uh, blowing around. Everything's getting sandblasted, including me. Uh, Kel's been pretty crook the last couple of days, so uh, yeah, it's going to be a um, steady, steady drive out this morning. Like the last 12 hours and the next 12 hours is going to be pretty shit. We've got um, about 50 k's to get out of here, and <laughs> Kel's going to pee. <laughs> We came in it took us um, three and a half hours first 17 k's going out it's probably going to be the worst and um, just going to take it super steady but they're predicting 20 to 40 mil of rain here um, this afternoon so yeah it's probably a good time to get out anyway and hopefully we can get killed to a doctor and um, see what's going on we've done the uh, COVID tests just the portable ones and it come up negative but yeah you never know so we don't really have a lot of packing up to do this morning just um just uh, reorganize a few things and um and go from there and they say red in the morning shepherd's warning or something Anyway, make a cup of tea. Uh, so yeah, change of plans. Uh, we were meant to be heading south, or we did start heading south. Then we got in a phone reception, and um, my mate Al that I'd met down in Brabham Bay is uh, one of the original gangsters that um, started healing balloon fishing over here on the west coast uh, back in the day. And but the weather's turned to shit, and I got a heap of messages from him today and this morning um, saying uh, it's not going to be good for the next week or so. Swell's going to be up, winds are doing the wrong thing and all that sort of stuff and we're possibly going to get a fair bit of rain down there. So we made a quick call and we're heading north back onto the main highway and we just booked a couple of nights at um, Onslow so we're going to um, call into there in the caravan park Kel will get better and um, <coughs> try not to cough in the background. Um, uh, yeah, so that's what's happened today. Heading north, continue the journey. Onslow, never been in there before. Should be pretty good. Have a look. Check it out. We 
could make it into um, Onslow without having to use the jerry again, but um, we're only about 40 k's out and it says I'm only good for about uh, 40 kilometers. Only just past Nanatara, but um, it's about 25 cents a litre more expensive at Nanatara than the Onslow. So that's um, so we only got the jerry can filled up and lucky we did. Uh, nearly there, just lovely. Everything's uh, still there. Poor old outboard. Yeah, another 40 k's to go. We've been punching into a headwind all day. Norwester just been pounding us. So it's been a steady 85 kilometers an hour all day and chewing the juice. Yeah, we've made it to um, Onslow, and um, yeah, I, I just uh, found him. He's cranking, eh? Yeah, when you pick when you pick him up, he um, he grabs onto you. Yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, I just noticed that all the wind and everything's changed, and it's going a bit hectic. And looked outside, and it's um, that rain that we were um, predicting. I think's coming. So everything might get a wash after all. At night time here, <laughs> there's hermit crabs everywhere. So you gotta watch where you step. This is me hermit crab, mate. How you going, buddy? Whoa, whoa, whoa. 